Welcome! In this video I'm going to be taking a look at this Tooler Helping Hands Magnetic Soldering Station. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So let's get this open. So this box is pretty heavy, there's lots of metal in it, that's a good thing. So here we have alligator clips, magnifier light, these are arms for the alligator clips rubber feet. These are some standoffs. Down below we have a clamping arm. This is a desk or bench clamp. The clamp itself, gimbal, and this is part of the clamp. And here's the base. And the base is metal. It's steel here. You can see that's thick steel. So that's a lot of the heft right there. I'll start by putting the feet on here. So I'll just put them on each corner. I'm going to space them about a quarter inch from the edge. Okay. There we go. So now I can start assembling the accessories. So I'll put the flex arms on here. So these have magnetic bases on it. So they sit firmly on the platform and this is very sturdy. I mean, you can lift the whole thing up here. So to take it off, you would tip it to the side. Then the alligator clips are going to connect onto those. So it has these thumb screws. We'll screw these in. We can stick the alligator clip in there. And these have a shrink wrap over the teeth to make them a little softer. So if those wear out over time, you could probably replace those with some new shrink wrap. So those can fit in like that and we can rotate this and lock it in any position. Then we can open it up to hold things. So this did come with an extra clamp and screw in case you misplaced one. Here are the standoffs. So these have what looks like a brass tip here. They're magnetic on the bottom. And these all have a plastic film on the bottom, probably to keep from scratching the plate. So those go like this. So this can stick in the mounting hole of a PCB, or you can put the PCB up here in this gap, and I'll show that later in more detail. Next we have the magnifier. So this is powered by USB, so you can use pretty much any USB charger, like an old phone charger, to power this. And here's the magnetic base here, and you can see that plastic on there. Finally, we have the clamping arm, and this has two ways to mount it. There's a clamp mount here, and here's more of a post mount. So this has a hex screw in the bottom, and it comes with a hex key, and that mounts on one of these holes here. There's one on either side. So I'll unscrew this here, put the screw up through the hole. We'll tighten this down. There we go. Now we can mount the arm in there. We'll loosen this screw, put it in there, then we can tighten it up to lock it in place, and you can rotate this 360 degrees. We'll pull the arm up here. Now on the end of this arm we have a quarter twenty thread and we can screw on this clamp. So we could screw that on but that's not going to give us the full functionality if we do that because it'll end up at a specific angle. So it came with this gimbal and this is going to give us greater adjustability. So we'll screw this on and then we'll screw this on the end. So now this is upside down we can loosen this and rotate it to whatever angle we want. It looks like this rotates here too. We can also tilt this. And this also has a clamp here, so you can clamp this to a bench. So when you're not using it with your soldering station, you can clamp this and use it elsewhere. Now the thing that makes this super versatile is this quarter 20 thread here. Let me get this loose. That's a standard tripod mount. So on here we can mount some other accessory. Like here's a phone mount. So if you wanted to mount a phone on here, there's a 360 camera, we could mount that on there. You can also mount action cameras and such like a GoPro. I have a microscope that uses a quarter 20 thread. So this gives you a tremendous amount of versatility. But for now, I'll put the clamping arm back on. There's the clamping jaws, so they're back on. So let's plug in this light here. Let me zoom out. So there's a lot of stuff on here. You may not want it all on at the same time. And certainly you could take these off and store them somewhere else. If you have a toolbox, you could always magnet it to the toolbox. So here's the control. Here's our magnifier light. So we can turn it on. So now it's on. And we have probably 10 levels of dimness here. And we have three color temperatures. We have warm, blue, and white. So let me turn that around like that. So it's hard to convey color temperature when recording, but it's definitely changing. And here you can see the magnification. So let me show some of these accessories here. Let's take a look at the standoffs. Here I have a Raspberry Pi computer. We can line up these with the mounting holes like so, and we're holding it like that. We can also line the board up like this in these grooves. So I'll place two here. Now this circuit board may not be the best for this mounting feature. I'll demonstrate the best I can. So there we go. So now we're holding it on the sides, by the sides. I come around by that corner there. It's a little better. So that can be a very secure way to hold circuit boards. 
Of course, these also have helping hands. So there's two different sizes. There's the long and the short. The long are around 14 inches to the tip and the short are around seven and a half. So here you can position these in whatever orientation you want. So here's some wires. If I wanted to solder the ends of these two wires together, I could do that and I could get them real close to each other and solder them together and those will hold them steady. Of course, if these were smaller components, let me put this down a little bit like so. You can use the magnifier here to help magnify and also light up your workspace. And finally, and I think this is one of the neat features of this, is this clamping arm. So this is very versatile. There we go. So I'll open this up here and we can use this to do something like hold a heat gun. So here I'm holding my heat gun in place. I'd probably want to lift that up. It's actually touching the base, but it will definitely hold the weight of that. So that's one example. You could also have that hold something like a motor if you're working on a motor. Maybe you're not soldering and you're doing some other detailed work and you'd want this to hold a flashlight. So you could clamp a flashlight in there and you could aim that flashlight in just the exact direction and angle you want. So since this has a clamp, you could use this pretty much anywhere. Oh, and it didn't show on the clamp, it does have foam on both pieces of the clamp. So you could even be, say, working on a car or something, and if you have a place to clamp under the engine bay, you could use this. And you could just point it wherever you want. So that's really handy. So you could use this if you're soldering something really big and you want to hold it in place. You could use it to, say, hold a tube in place. I mean, there's so many applications for a clamping arm like this. And this is going to offer plenty of clamping force here. It's a screw clamp. I mean, I could probably break my finger there. So lots of force there. These are metal jaws here, and this is metal screw. So this is all metal, except for in the middle. There is rubber on the jaws for extra gripping power. Now, if this rotates a little bit, you can rotate against this locking ring to tighten up against that thread, and that will keep that from rotating. So that's the Tulor Helping Hands Magnetic Soldering Station. If you're looking for a soldering station that does it all, I think this is a great option. This can handle just about any situation. You have your traditional alligator clips like most soldering stations would have, but it also has the standoff posts here, the circuit boards, has the magnifying lens, so you don't need a separate magnifier, and it has a super versatile clamping arm. Now since the magnifier does use USB, you can use this on the go with a little USB battery pack like you'd charge a phone with. You could also use a portable power station. A lot of portable power stations would run this USB easy and then you can also even plug in your soldering iron or your heat gun. So this is very heavy so it's very sturdy it's not likely to tip over and it has those rubber feet on it. The rubber feet also make it easy to hold up so this isn't sitting directly on the surface so you can easily get your fingers under there to lift it. Now in general use you may not use these parts every day so as I said earlier it's easy to just take off what you're not using and you can simplify this like so. So if you're just using these two arms here, you can do that. Then these could be stored somewhere else. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.